Hello and welcome back. We are still in our first chapter of biology. Chapter 1, which talks about nutrition. And the last time, we talked about the photosynthesis, its importance for the humans and its economical importance. We also mentioned the requirements that the plant needs to carry out the photosynthesis process. Today, we will first mention the products of the photosensors and the first important product of the photosensors is a mono texturized and the second is the oxygen well we won't talk about the oxygen but we will talk about the mono saccharide the mono saccharide is the glucose and it's called a monosaccharide because when the glucose is broken down it gives only one molecule so it's monosaccharide this monosaccharide is very important in the photosynthesis products because it may be used by the plant to be burnt and produce energy or it may be also used to produce the proteins and also it may be stored in the form of starch for the purpose of storage so it has three uses and the oxygen of course evolves because if we said in the photosynthesis the water molecule is split to remove the hydrogen from the water molecule and of course the oxygen remains so it goes outwards by means of uh, in the products of the photosynthesis and it don't bind with the hydrogen anymore alright so these are the products of the photosynthesis the second point we will talk about today is where does the photosynthesis take place of course all of us know that the chlorophyll is very important for the plant to carry out the photosynthesis process and that the plant don't carry out the photosynthesis without the chlorophyll. So of course the photosynthesis will take place in the sites in the plant where the chlorophyll is abundant. So the green leaves are the main sites of photosynthesis because they contain the chlorophyll. Also some green herbaceous stems of plants as they are green so they contain the chlorophyll and they participate somehow in the photosynthesis process and as we talk about the chlorophyll of course we must talk about the place where the chlorophyll is found and the chlorophyll is found in the chloroplast so erase this And as note, the chloroplast is the plastid. That we all knew before. The chloroplast is a green plastid. And of course the green plastid is found in the plant cell. So when the plant cell is examined under the light microscope, the normal microscope that all of us use it appeared as a homogeneous green object or green mass with the shape of a convex lens when the people examine the plastid under the light microscope they appear as a homogeneous green mass with the shape of convex lens 
there isn't anything that appears more. But because the electron microscope is more accurate, the electron microscope, they found that the plastid or the chloroplast is enclosed in a double thin membrane of thin nanometers wide. So, the wide of the membrane that encloses a gram for the chloroplast story is 10 nanometers wide. And inside the chloroplast there is a fluid which is a, a colorless proteinic substance, it's made of protein, which is called the stroma or the matrix.